Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Shalom, brothers and sisters. We want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Today, we're going to go over who is hell for. Uh, this has uh, been a controversial topic um, about whether there is the existence of a place of judgment known as hell, which includes, uh, you know, a eternal fire burning forever and ever. Uh, we've done a lesson as well concerning this months ago titled What is Hell? The Intro. So today we're going to continue on on that subject by going further on into other precepts uh, that will allow brothers and sisters to get a better understanding of this particular subject. So first, we're going to go back into, you know, Matthew. And as we know, at the bottom, it says to destroy both soul and body in hell. We're going to go into the Strong's G number, which is Strong's G 1067. And we're going to look at the, a couple of definitions. This word here is Gehenna, right, which is also found in the Hebrew. It's the same word. Uh, you can also go back and look into it as well if you go back into the keyword study done on this particular word. So the Thayer's definition for Gehenna is hell is the place of the future punishment called Gehenna or Gehenna of fire. This was originally the Valley of Hinnom, south of Jerusalem, where the filth and dead animals of the city were cast out and burned a fit symbol of the wicked and their future destruction. Also going to go into the Strong's definition. Valley of Hinnom, Gehenna, of Valley of Jerusalem used as a name for the place or state of everlasting punishment. Okay, so we see here that this is the definition of Gehenna. This proves to you that Yahweh Shai was not talking about the actual grave or the ground itself where, where bodies are buried and decomposed. This is clearly talking about a place of eternal punishment. So now we're going to go into the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 11 and 12. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So this is talking about the punishment that's to come for those that load the law of the Lord. As we know, the law is referring to the original covenant. Okay, this is the covenant that was given on Mount Sinai, by Moses, who came in as a mediator from Yahweh. Mm -hmm. So this is what this is referring to. This law that was despised is referring to the covenant that was originally made. And then initially also within that covenant was you had to believe in the Messiah to come, which is Yahweh Shah. Okay. And if you didn't believe, if you didn't believe in that particular prophet that was to be raised among the people, that soul will be destroyed from among the people, mm -hmm. which is basically right. done in Gehenna. Okay. Right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33 and verse 13. Hear ye that are far off what I have done, and ye that are near acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has, has surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with the everlasting burnings? So Isaiah is emphasizing that these burning fires and this everlasting burning is pertaining to Israel. God, God. Mm -hmm. This is Revelation chapter 20 and verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them 
and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So you see here that this is continuing on from what the brother just read in Isaiah 33, what we read previously in 2 Ezra 9 verses 11 and 12, showing that if you did not believe that there was going to be a punishment among the people that did not believe, they were scared in Isaiah 33, that if they did not believe that they would go into this punishment of fire. Same thing that's here. If you load the law of the Lord, you shall fill it after death by pain. Those that, that were not found written in the book of life shall be cast into the lake of fire. This is Isaiah 66 and 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. Now, in Isaiah 66, 23 and 24, we have three components to look at. To, to look at. We see that their worm shall not die, and the fire shall not quench, meaning a continual burning. Then you also have the new moon and the Sabbath in which those Israelites would go to every new moon and Sabbath and look upon those carcasses. Now let's go into the law and what we're gonna see is where this originated from. This is Numbers 28 and one. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, Command the children of Israel and say unto them, My offering and my bread for my sacrifices made by fire for a sweet savor unto me, shall ye observe to offer unto me in their due season. And thou shalt say unto them, This is the offering made by fire which ye shall offer unto the Lord, two lambs of the first year without spot, day by day, for a continual burnt offering. So remember that, brothers and sisters, a continual burnt offering. Now we're going to go to verse 6, Numbers 28 and 6. It is a continual burnt offering, which was ordained in Mount Sinai for a sweet savor, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And the drink offering thereof shall be the fourth part of a hen for the one lamb in the holy place, Shalt thou cause the strong wine to be poured unto the Lord for a drink offering. So we have a continual burnt offering. And then we also have a drink offering, which symbolizes the wrath of the Most High. Now we're going to go down to verse 9. And on the Sabbath day, two lambs of the first year without spot and two tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil and the drink offering thereof. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath, beside the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. And in the beginning of your months, ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks and one ram, seven lambs of the first year without spot. So from those verses that we just read, we see the burnt offering for the continual offering. We also see the burnt offering for the Sabbath, and then also the burnt offering for the beginning of the month, which is the new moon. So we line that up with that Isaiah 66, for the Sabbath and every new moon shall we go down and look at the carcasses of the men that transgress, which their worms shall not die and the fire shall not be quenched which is a continual burnt offering of those who transgress against the Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's right. And who was those people that transgressed? That was Israel. Mm -hmm. it's, it's no other nations. It's, it's Israel. It's talking about Israel. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 2. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. 
And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. Mm. So that's the that's the precept to show you that that the Most High is putting his judgment upon Israel, upon his people. This is for Israel. So and you know, Israel, it's time for Israel to get itself together and 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 think about, you know, what they what the end judgment will be for them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, so with that, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.